Now, they are the wartime pilots who had enemies on both sides. They fought Nazi Germany and prejudice in their own ranks. Because these heroes are black. They are American airmen, and a new film called Red Tails, about to open here in London, shows what they went through. But an RAF veteran who came from the West Indies to fight for Britain says he had similar battles to prove his worth. He spoke to our entertainment correspondent, Lucrezia Millerini. This, this was when the, um, the, uh, the memorial at Constitution Hill. The medals he wears a testament to the time he spent fighting for king and country. In West Norwood, at his home for more than 40 years, Alan Charles Wilmot is surrounded by the pictures that keep his memories alive. When did you join the Navy? How old were you? 1941. And how old were you, really? I was uh, <laughs> officially, I was just over 16 and I put my age at 17. And now I'm going to ask Flying Officer Ulrich Cross to speak for West Indians in the services. Like so many other young men and women from the West Indies, Alan was a volunteer. In 1943, he went on to enlist with the RAF and soon found himself in England. But there he faced an altogether different battle. In this country, it was a big deal to be in the RAF. You have to get a certain education. And when the saws in the, the uniform, they couldn't figure out because the general consensus was, once you're black, you're from Africa. You live in trees. You can't read and write. So how can you be in the RF wear an RF uniform? Things didn't get better after the war, when he returned to the UK once more, this time without a uniform. And it was frightening when I came back here. You know, we start seeing signs, no, um, no Irish, no colored, no dogs. We have a right to fight for our country. It was a similar kind of prejudice experienced by the Tuskegee pilots in the American Armed Forces, then segregated. Now Hollywood's brought their story to the big screen in the George Lucas produced Red Tails. It stars London actor David Oyelowo. Low, so the guns can't hit us. They, they did such extraordinary things. I mean, the best record for bomber escort in the Second World War and, you know, so many people don't know anything uh, about them. So, and I think that's why George Lucas was so passionate about seeing their story told. And you all thought what? You'd sign up, you get shiny boots, a uniform, and that'd be the end of a hundred years of bigotry. You're colored men in a white man's army. The film has its Garda screening in London this evening and Alan will be attending. At 87, he's now met the Queen four times and finally feels he has the recognition he deserves. You know, it meant so much to me because at, at last people knew that we took place and we were recognised. Lucrezia Mullerini, London Tonight. And you can find out more about the Red Wings by going to our website. The address is itv.com slash London. You can also get updates on any of the stories on today's programme. Now, as we promised,